Hello, I'm Ricky, the canine copywriter, and I help positive dog trainers improve their marketing. And today I am back with a special edition of the Copy Edit. Um, because one of my students from Underdogs Unleashed, my marketing course for dog bods, Carrie from Carrie's Canines and Friends, has reached out to me for some help with a few different things. So um, get ready, because this is probably going to cover quite a bit in one short session. So Kerry's asked for help with three kind of main areas. One, she wanted me to have a look at her homepage to see how she could improve it. Two and three, she wanted to look at how she could increase inquiries and increase visibility on Google. Um, so she's been working through the course content um, from Unleashed and putting things into action. And she's feeling a bit stuck now with how, how she can essentially increase those inquiries and those conversions. So that's what we're going to look at today. So I'm going to start off actually by looking at Carrie's SEO. So that's her search engine optimization, which is all about what we can do on our website to increase our chances of showing up on Google for people searching for a dog trainer near them. Carrie does one-to-one um, -one dog training in person in her local area in Coventry. She does have online courses as well, but we're going to focus on that local SEO element today. So. As I say, Carrie has already done her basic SEO through following the lessons in Unleashed. She's seeing that she's getting traffic, but it's not converting. So I am going to actually first start by having a look at her data. Now, you might get a bit freaked out when you start seeing all of these graphs, but when we want to understand that we've got our SEO in place and how can we make it better, we need to actually dig a little bit deeper and have a look at what's working and what isn't. So I'm logging into Carrie's Google Analytics, her GA4. And what I'm doing is I'm going to come down and have a look at pages and screens. Why I'm doing this is because I want to see one, which are our most popular pages, and two, how long are people spending on those pages? Because that's how I'm going to see which pages need attention. Carrie's got loads of blogs, service pages. What we want to do is focus our efforts on the things that most need attention. So her homepage, brilliant, is getting the most um, traffic. And when we look at the average engagement time, it's four minutes, which is high. So that suggests actually her homepage is already working quite well. I will still go ahead and do a homepage review to see if there are any opportunities for tiny tweaks that could make it better. But the suggestion is actually this page is already performing well. Her second top form page is a blog that she's written about dog boarding. Um, so that is bringing her in a decent amount of traffic, but she doesn't actually um, provide dog boarding services, but it shows the power of blogs. Um, and then we've got her service pages, separation anxiety, one-to-one -one training and one-to-one -one puppy training and her contact page. So if we have a look here at the engagement time, so if she wants to increase conversions for dog training, one-to-one -one dog training bookings, this page needs attention because the average time people, are, time people are spending on this page is just 54 seconds. So there is some improvements I'm sure that we can make on this page to increase the amount of time that people are spending. Why are they bouncing away? What are they not finding? Um, contact page is low, but we'd expect that. Um, her one-to-one -one puppy training is doing marginally better. So let's have a look at those service pages then and see where we could improve them. So I'm gonna go first to her one-to-one -one dog training page. So we've got dog training, co Coventry behavior consultations. She was explaining what they might be facing, telephone number and a button to book a break for a call. And then we've got some key points about what, what it might be like if they got rid of their problems. So these are the things that they desire. Um, and then we're going into information now about the pain points that they're experiencing, the challenges that they're facing, enjoying walks might feel like a dream, you're frustrated and upset, um, whether you're new to dog ownership or you need help with a challenging issue, I want to help you build your bond, la 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 la, um, and then a list of common dog training problems and um, behaviour problems, helping people identify whether they've got a dog training issue or whether they need behaviour support. Uh, a little bit about her and then um, some button copy. So I'm going to hone in on this page. Bear with me because I'm going to grab something that's going to really help us with this. A template from Underdogs Unleashed, which shows you what actually needs to go on a service page and where. And this is going to really help us improve this page copy. Bear with me. 
Okie dokie, I have logged into Underdogs Unleashed and I am going to go and grab myself the service page template because this is what a one to one dog training page is. And we need some help organizing it so that it's going to convert better and have the right information in the right places. So let's use a template to help us do that. So with this template, we've got the SEO piece, which we don't need to do. I know that she's followed that already. And now we've got what should go on the page, right? So let's bring this over here and compare side by side. So the first thing that we need to have is what the service is, who it's for, um, and a CTA button. So we know what it is, dog training, Coventry, and behavior consultations, fine. Um, but then we've got quite a lot of copy before we're getting to a CTA button. Just jumping back over here, what comes next is what we want to do is introduce the pain points, what life looks like for them, and then hone in on the outcome that the service delivers. And here is, I think, where we might be getting a little bit tripped up. Because when I read this, all of this is pain points. Then we've got a CTA, and then we've got more pain points. And then we've got even more pain points, right? Before eventually going into your training methods and the expert advice and stuff that you're gonna get, and then a CTA button. Now, it's really important you're, if you've watched any of my copy edits before or taken any of my courses, you'll know that I say emotions drive behavior. It is important for us to speak into the pain points that are the people that we want to help are experiencing. And the reason for that is so that they can self-select and recognize, yep, this is me. I'm in the right place. These are the things that I'm experiencing. This person gets me. But we don't need to go on and on about it. Um, so what I would suggest doing with this page, Carrie, so that we can get people um, to stick with the copy longer and to take the next action, aka convert, book a call, um, is that we actually trim this down. So both sets of these are fine. I would suggest that perhaps what we do is just bring this up. So let me use my WYSI tool and see if it's going to let me do it. I'm going to get rid of all of this straight away. All right. And I'm going to get rid of this too. And I'm going to get rid of this too. And I'm a bit scared to try and get rid of this button because I don't think it's going to work. All right. Okay. So what we're trying to do is get this reduced down so that people can quickly say, all right, here are my problems, right? We've done that much quicker now. We've reduced the copy that they need to wade through to get to the point. Um, all right, then we're like, here's the pain points. These are the things that we'd like to deal with. Dogs are known as man's best friend, but when you have a challenge with your dog, life can become strained and stressful. It's not always a smooth ride being a dog owner, but a vast majority of problems can be fixed having a plan of where you are and your goal alongside your training. Right now, enjoying walks together might feel like a dream. You may be getting frustrated and upset with your dog as they just won't behave. Whether you are new to dog ownership or just need some help with the challenging issue, I want to, I would change that to, I can. I can help you build your bond connection and have an even better relationship with your dog. So you can kind of take that away because we don't know whether they did before or not. So you can enjoy the time you spend together. I'm a rewards-based dog trainer, use positive training. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, again, I'd consider perhaps reducing this down. In fact, I'm just gonna take it out. We could put it in here. So I can help you build your bond connection and have an even better relationship with your dog using reward based training methods that, um, that what? Make the time you spend together a joy. Something like that. Okay, could probably be improved. Ironically, I do these copy edits, but I'm not very good at editing. Uh, writing on the fly um train with me and you'll receive expert advice to help you resolve training issues helping you understand why your dog is behaving the way they the way they are so we can yeah, so this is just making it a bit more um, active, I suppose. Train with me and you'll receive my expert advice to help you resolve your issues, help you understand 
why your dog is behaving the way they are so we can fix it and I would add in together because that's just like kind of pushing the supportive element of it and I would shorten this down book a break for a call here and let's get you sorted I mean you can change that so it's your tone of voice right too wordy you can take the ear here out as well all right brilliant and then we say my goal is to help you have a great relationship with your dog so they are well behaved they are a well behaved socially acceptable dog that makes you feel proud yeah so we're speaking into the outcome what do they want they want a well-behaved dog socially acceptable dog why because they're probably a bit tired a bit feeling embarrassed and ashamed yeah okay and then we've i think this is really good highlighting the problems that are you know whether it's training versus behavior because oftentimes owners guardians don't actually know the difference um blah done good i would consider taking this off the liver cake training recipe at uh, liver cake recipe because it's just distracting um oh didn't want to do that okay i again make this more direct here and let's get started something like that awesome job you've got your areas on here which is brilliant for your seo and getting found on google and you've got your google map which would also help that you've got your testimonials here which is brilliant and you've got a nice video which helps people get an idea of what it's like working with you. So let's have a quick skim through now to make sure that we've covered everything off. We've spoken more about the outcome. How does it work? We haven't really covered this section. Um, and that is a question that people will have. So you can kind of add a section, Carrie, that explains how your one to one dog training works. What, what does it include? Why does it include it? So, you know, figure out the features and benefits. We've got your areas on here. You've got your bonus points for integrating a Google map. You've got your reviews and testimonials, and you've got another call to action and FAQs are optional and probably not necessary to be honest for a um, local service page. So that's that page. That is looking at what's going on once people are landing on the page, because as we can see in the analytics, people are landing on this page but they're not sticking around. So what I would suggest is that we make those edits to that page and then we give it some time and we wait and see whether that page engagement goes up and whether inquiries go up. If they do, then we know that what we've done has worked. If they don't, then we need to have another look at it. All right, so I would do the same, have a look at your one-to-one -one page for puppy training that also has a fairly low engagement time. Use that template and checklist that you've got within Underdogs Unleashed to help you review that. All right, that's the first piece. The second piece is actually looking a little bit deeper into your SEO. Um, so again, I know that Carrie has done a lot of this work herself, but what I'm going to do is pretend that I have never seen this site before and that Carrie's taken none of my lessons. And let's have a look at the most important pages and see whether they're ticking the SEO boxes. So when it comes to SEO for a local dog trainer, what we want to be doing is making sure that each page on our website, or at least our home and service pages, have a target keyword that is different. So each page should have its own keyword. Your puppy training page would be puppy training. Your dog training page would be dog training. Your dog training classes would be dog training classes and so on. They should all have their own one and they should all have that in their title, your area if you're a local dog trainer. So we can see that Carrie's doing a brilliant job of this, dog training, Coventry, um, puppy training, Coventry. Um, and we want to have that information also in what's called our meta title and description. That's what comes up on Google when we search for anything, really. So if I Google dog training Coventry, first thing I get is my map pack, which is powered by Google Business. You can go and watch my separate video on that. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, so we need to be doing that as a local dog trainer to get our visibility up, because this is what comes up first for those service related searches. Um, and at the moment for me, Carrie's coming up second on the list. Here is her meta title. And here is her meta description. That's what I'm talking about when I mention meta title and description. It's really important because it's how somebody decides on Google whether they click through to your website. Yeah. So that's your visibility piece. That's your SEO piece. 
inquiries is connected to your conversion. So that's what they find when they land on that page. That's what we've covered in the first half of this video, the conversion piece. Have we got the right information on that page? Are we presenting it in a way that answers the questions they have and make it easy for them to navigate and build desire for them to take the next step? Yeah, the visibility piece is the SEO. So what do we want to do? Her homepage, assuming the target keyword is dog training, we want to have it in your title and your area in your title and in your meta title and description. All right, so we've got that going on here. I'm not on the homepage. Hang on, let me get back to the homepage because I saw something on this page that I wanted to cover. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so an extra tip for you, Kerry, is that you need to make this logo clickable so it takes you back to the homepage or add home to your site navigation because people are unable to navigate easily back to your homepage at the moment. Should be that I could click that and it would take me back there. So you asked originally for me to have a look at your homepage, Kerry. So we've got the SEO pieces in place. I know that we've got dog training, Coventry, we've got an intro, we've got your button copy, which is great. We've got, again, what I would say on this page is we've got a lot. Can you see how scrolly that beginning bit is? We've got quite a lot of pain point and not quickly enough, I would say, getting into the services. So I'm going to have a look at editing with that. You've got the section, which I recommend of the different services you offer. I would like to see this higher up on the page. We've got a lovely section with your um, book and another CTA. We've got reviews, which is great. You've got your Google map, your areas. You're ticking so many of these boxes. You've got your reviews. We've got a lovely story about you. I really enjoyed reading this bit and it was really um, brilliant for people to kind of identify and see themselves and understand what you're about. You've got your social proof. You've got your lead magnet. You're banging on all cylinders with this homepage. Um, but what I would say is this is too long. And the other thing that stood out to me when I first landed on this page was this. So it says dog training in Coventry with Coventry's number one puppy training specialist. And for me, that produced a little bit of a conflict because I've got an adult dog and you're a number one puppy training specialist. That kind of puts some doubt in my mind. If I had a puppy, it would speak to me really strongly. But if I landed on your page with a dog, I might be like, oh, she's really good at training puppies. Maybe she's not so good with adult dogs. So what I would suggest is editing this. I can see from the research that I've done before, you've also been rated in the top three of dog trainers in Coventry. So it would be okay for us to strip this out and say, keep that for your puppy training page, use that copy on your puppy training page. Um, and I would say award winning dog training in Coventry something like that or you could say dog training in Coventry with award-winning dog trainer or whatever you can play around with that but I would remove that kind of conflict of between dog and puppy on 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 something like your home page where it's attracting different kinds of people yeah um now this piece again is really long so we've got is your dog's challenging behavior leaving you stressed and da, 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 da. as your puppy perhaps you're feeling overwhelmed blah 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 and at Carrie's Canine and Friends, I provide kind and fun reward-based dog training in Coventry. And you've got your local areas in there, which is great for SEO. I would suggest we strip this out. Strip this out. Strip that out. Delete it. I'd probably put a subheading in here. Um, Award-winning dog trainer to the rescue, something like that. I would have that as a subheader, right? And then you can say, I've helped countless puppy owners with their puppy training commentary, la, 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 and guided and supported owners with well. Probably take that bit out. I just want to condense it down because it's very copy heavy. And what really, when we're thinking about the job of the homepage is we want to get people to the landing page they need um, as quickly as possible. Um, I'd take this out, maybe move it further down. So we want to make it quicker. For, ah, I didn't mean to do that. I want to make it quicker for them to get to this bit. Here we go. So now they're landing here. I would 
potentially even move this below this box. So they have the intro copy, la la la, keep this section, move this section down to below here. In fact, let me see if I can do that. This video is going to need some editing, isn't it? I'm very long and waffly. Oh, that doesn't my Wizzy software doesn't work for that. Okay, cool. I'd move that bit down. So we're very quickly getting people to where they need to go. Yeah, over to the relevant training page. That's what the homepage's job is. If they keep scrolling beyond that, they want to know more about you. Then you have that paragraph of copy. Then you'd have your book bit and everything that you had before was perfect. So that's your homepage review. Hopefully, I don't want to make this video any longer, but if you need more help, Carrie, feel free to reach back out to me. Hopefully from watching this, um, you and the viewers here on YouTube can see that SEO and conversion are two separate pieces. So SEO is about winning traffic and getting visible. The copy and content on your landing pages is the conversion piece. We can't do one without the other and expect results. We need to do both pieces. If it's something you want help with, and you want to learn more, Underdogs Unleashed covers all of this and a lot more. Um, it's my self-paced course for positive dog buds, and I'll put the link to that below in the description. Please subscribe to catch future copy edits and get more help with your positive marketing for ethical dog buds. See you soon.